Good morning. It is Tuesday, February 16th. This is your sweat workout for today. Spiritual workout every today. In fact, this is the last sweat workout that we're going to be providing because we're tomorrow we're stepping into the season of Lent. And if you receive that packet with the Lent materials, one of the pieces that's in there is the daily Bible reading. And so we're going to encourage you to step into scripture in this way instead of through the video that we've been doing. And so I want to encourage you to make some space to pray, make some space to be in the scripture that's provided, and just really ask God how you can put that into practice in your life. But for today, the final sweat workout, we're going to be looking at Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 through 23. And just let me read this text to you. It's such a beautiful description of Jesus and helps us remember what he's done for us. So Colossians 1.15, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers, all things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. And you, who were once estranged and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, he has now reconciled in his fleshly body through death, so as to present you holy and blameless and irreproachable before him, provided that you continue securely established and steadfast in faith, without shifting from the hope promised by the gospel that you heard, which has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven. I, Paul, became a servant of this gospel. And so as you think about that text, and hopefully spend some time reading that yourself, couple th suggestions for how to respond. One, what does it mean for you to be a servant of the gospel like Paul? Verse 23 talks about Paul just affirming that he is a servant of the gospel. What does that mean for you and for me to be servants of the gospel? And how can we put that into practice for today? And then the second question, how can you give Jesus first place in your life today? As you think about what this day holds and the relationships that you'll be a part of and the work that you may go to, what, what, what does it mean for him to have first place in your life as you seek to live in those places in the midst of the circumstances you'll be a part of? Well, I hope these sweat workouts have been helpful for you. I think it's always helpful to turn our attention to God on a consistent basis. Let his word speak into our life and trust that in that he is doing that refining work in each one of us. Let us practice our faith today. Hope you have a good day.